Julie, we're back with our last um, dish. Well, it's a dessert. Is it? Oh, oh best for last. Oh, I know. And this is a man olive pickle gelato. Gelato with pickle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is, again, this is a wonderful recipe, so easy to make. Basically, we're just going to mix everything. But one thing that you need, you need an um, ice cream <coughs> machine. Okay. Okay. But we're going to just start with this and then we'll go to the next step. Okay. So the ingredients that you're going to need is one cup of Manali pickle juicer. Okay. So that one, and we're just going to put it in the big bowl. <coughs> then we're going to need one cup of whole milk. Is this one? Now, the only thing that would make this better is if we were in Italy making this oh, gelato. I know, oh, right? man. That's the only Next thing time. that we're missing. That's right. <laughs> Next time we need to say, if we're going to make something gelato, like that, we'll we just need to, Italy. to travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One cup of heavy cream. One cup of sugar. One eight spoon, um, one eight teaspoon of um, salt. Oh, did it get stuck there? Mm -hmm. Okay. In tea, we're gonna need some uh, chopped um, an olive um, kosher deal. Kosher deal. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we're just gonna need five drops. Uh, or a winner said that whatever you want to put, you know, it doesn't matter depending on the grain of your ice cream. So five drops. Can you say, can you count in Italian? No, but I can count in Spanish. <laughs> Dos. I can't Tres. <laughs> Cuatro. Y cinco. I think you already did. Say <laughs> siete. Okay, that was seven, not five. Okay. So, and then just mix it. Okay. Ooh, see, we got, I want an extra green ice cream. Oh, gelato. I see. I see that. It's all about the color. It reminds mm -hmm. me of those delicious Milana pickles. That's right. So let me tell you who's the winner. It's Greg Cahoon Co mm -hmm. from Greensboro, North Carolina. Ah. I was like, we need to have someone from North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, because our other winners were from Florida and Georgia New York. and New York. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, Mr. Greg. And we're just so excited about this recipe. Like, even the picture looks so pretty. So hopefully we can make it look like that. <laughs> so we'll try. Thank so you. at this point, after we mix all the ingredients, we're going to let it stand in the refrigerator. And uh, we're going to do some magic here. Oh, OK. I like so, magic. So um, we don't have two hours to, to wait. <laughs> so we're just going to, we already have one in the refrigerator. We're going to clean it here a little bit. And we'll see you in a little bit. Is that good? So we have been waiting for this moment. I know, I'm ready. So I'm ready. this has been in the refrigerator for around two hours. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our ice machine, uh, ice cream machine um, in like uh, how it's going to work. So with this particular ice, uh, ice cream machine, you need to put this bucket in the refrigerator, in the freezer, freezer. for at least 24 hours. Okay. okay. So there's other kinds that you just need to follow the directions. Uh, you can put it in the freezer if you don't have an ice cream machine, but I don't think you will have the consistency. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this thing goes in here, this way, and then you will put the lid in here. Okay, like this. And then basically you just need to put the ice cream in here, or, or mix in here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you are ready to make a mess. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with this particular ice cream machine, uh, you only have an off and an on button. So I'm just going to turn it on. Okay. And we're just going to wait 30 minutes. Okay. Is that good? So this recipe takes a little while, not much, just because you got to do it in steps, and each step takes that's a while. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what is so important if you keep your bucket ready in the uh, freezer, 
and also be sure that you uh, put your, um, you can do between 30 to 2 hours, 30 okay. minutes to 2 hours, but I think it's good just to have it a little bit there, okay. like the way everything kind of stands, yeah. Like yeah. fits. Okay, so we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it's ready. We Ooh. basically, we did it around 25 to 30 minutes, and that's going to depend on your machine and also the consistency you want. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know real, how is the real gelato? So <laughs> we're thinking that this is the way it looks. Yeah. I'm so sorry to our winner if this is not how it's supposed to look. <laughs> and you can tell that it is green, 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 just like Julie. I and know, because all that extra mm -hmm. drops I put in there. So Julie is so excited about this. And, um, and it's, it looks good. It looks real good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll start with one scoop. Okay. We'll put a pickle in there. We got mm -hmm. to top it off with a pickle. Okay. Ooh, thank you. I love this color. I do too. I see it. So added that extra. You ready? pickle gelato. Okay, mm. you ready? I am okay. ready. Mmm. Mm. It is. Oh no, you can taste the pickles. I can taste the pickles, the pickles mm -hmm. for sure. I can taste the pickles, mm -hmm. yeah. It's really good though. It's called Malala Pickle Gelato. Yes. What a creative way for a dessert. It's delicious. Delicious, <laughs> delicious. So, what else? What else do we need to know about the festival? Well, speaking of delicious food, mm -hmm. We have these special vendors that get a pickle-licious uh, mm -hmm. banner mm -hmm. because they're serving something pickly. I think that's oh. a new word that Lynn and I invented. Okay. Pickly. And so they might be selling pickle popcorn, pickle snow cones, pickle donuts, pickle fudge, pickle um, cookies, mm -hmm. pickle lemonade, pickle slushies, pickle snow cones. So I'm telling you, if you come to the Pickle Festival, look for those pickle licious banners because you're probably going to get pickle mm -hmm. ice cream and all kinds of pickly food. I'm sure. It's going to be amazing. And of course, your typical deep fried pickles. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can get free Malala pickles all day long. Okay, I, I don't know what else to say other than we need to go to the festival. We need to enjoy our time together and be there to support um, the town of Manala and, yep. and all the people that is working so hard. I know you have been meeting with the committee for two months. Oh, months, months been meeting. Yes, I know Planning, you do a lot of organizing since. Since the, uh, the last year festival ends, you start yes, doing a lot of work. Yes, already starting the next one because you know it takes a whole year of planning and organizing. Mm -hmm. You know we're bringing in fifty or sixty thousand people to our town, a population of four thousand five hundred. Mm -hmm. It's a whole year of planning to be able to put this event together to make it a delightful time that people will relish their experiences at mm -hmm. the festival and just have fun. Yes, and and, and be in a safe environment. Yes, environment, very much so. That, that is something that, you know, I have been in those planning meetings and you do a really <laughs> good job with everybody, with all our um, officers, to be sure that everybody's safe and that it's a wonderful family environment. Yes, we, we have a, a great committee of, uh, for our Pickle Festival and like you said, we do include the fire department, the police department, the town officials, so we're all on the same page mm -hmm. to make sure we're having, a, as you said, a safe event and that everybody can have a lot of fun. And the volunteers. Yes. Because you have a lot of volunteers that they just love to help you. Yes, we need festival. about 150 volunteers to be able to put this event on in addition to our committee. And so it's a great event. April 27th, Mile Olive is the place to be. That's right. So we'll see you then and hopefully we'll be eating more pickles. Mm -hmm.